how you doing? We are going to start diving into integer operations and today specifically talk about adding integers. Now remember an integer is defined as a positive or negative whole number and zero but today we're going to add integers without a calculator. This is one of the few things we do and learn this year without the use of a calculator. So we're going to do it what we call longhand. So I'm going to show you a couple strategies to make it easy peasy. So let's look at this number sentence right here. I have negative four plus six. One strategy we can use with adding integers is to put the numbers on a number line. So if you see below, I have a number line. I have positives to the right, because that means they're getting bigger, negatives to the left, because that means they're getting smaller. Well, when I start with addition, I'm gonna start with the first integer. So I have negative four. So I'm gonna put a dot where negative four belongs on the number line. So that's where I start, right? I have negative four. Now I'm going to add six. When we add, we're getting bigger, which means we're going to the right. So I'm gonna jump six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I land right here on that positive two. So negative four plus six is positive two, right? So one strategy is to use that number line but we don't always have a number line handy. So what if I have like negative six plus 12? Well, if I don't have a number line handy or I don't feel like creating one, I'm gonna use a method called a scoreboard. So think of like going to a football or basketball game, right? You have the scoreboard. You have one team, so we'll say one team is positive and the other team would be negative. And we're gonna look at our two integers and place them where they should go, either positive team or negative team. So right here, I have negative six, which means the negative team has six points. Here, I have a positive 12, so the positive team has 12 points. Well, at this point, I can figure out who's winning, right? The positive team has more, but by how much? Well, if the positive team has 12 and the negative team has six, that means the positives are winning by six, and since the positive team is winning, my answer is positive six, right? So whoever's winning, that's the sign that you'll use for the answer. Let's look at another one. All right, so say I have 10 plus negative 15. So again, I'm gonna use my scoreboard strategy. I have the positive team and the negative team. My positive team has 10. My negative team has 15. Well, who's winning? The negatives by how much? By five, and since the negatives are winning, it's negative five. So 10 plus negative 15 is negative five. Right? Not too bad. Even though we don't have those calculators, we can use these strategies to make it a little easier. All right, let's try one more. And this one gets a little tricky. So let's say we have negative eight plus negative four. Right? So if I draw my scoreboard, I have the, the positive team, sorry, and then the negative team. All right, well, the negative team has eight. And then the negative team scored again with four. Positive team has zero. They're not even on the board. If both of your integers are on the same side like this, they're both negative, negative eight and then negative four, we're gonna add those two integers, that's 12. And because the negative team is winning, it's negative 12. All right, I hope that makes sense. Use those strategies since we don't have that pretty handy dandy calculator. If you have any questions, let me know. Love you. Bye.